Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's just me today. Um, just doing a bit, a bit of a sit down video really, just explaining what's happening, what's been going on, etc, etc. Um, I have mentioned in a few clips, and I can't remember if I've kept those clips in or I've taken them out in editing, but I have mentioned in a few clips that there's some stuff going on with Ida's school. Um, so we thought that Dave and Olivia had COVID and sent off for tests and everything. Um, and it all went a bit crazy. So Isla was off school because she was isolating because Dave and Olivia we thought had COVID. So we were downstairs for three or four days while we waited for the PCRs and everything to come back. Um, during that time, school kept sending messages like, oh, where's Isla, where's Isla? And we're like, she's isolating. You know, we keep telling you this. But their policy is that they send you a text every day. So we kept responding and saying, oh, she's isolating, she's isolating. And when the PCRs came back, I called the school. And I said, um, that's the PCRs back, they're negative. Should be in tomorrow. And they were like, oh, well, we need a copy of the, of the PCR. I said, well, why do you need that? That's... You know, that's not something for you. That's got their medical information on it. Why do you need that? They're like, well, we need to see it so as we know that she doesn't have COVID. And I'm like, what do you mean? So anyway, it turns out that they wanted Isla to have a PCR test. I was like, for God's sake, she doesn't have symptoms. She doesn't have anything. Why do you want her to have a PCR? So she had to have a PCR test. So that came back negative. You know, it took a couple of days. Called them back. And they said, um, well, you know, she could have been in school all along. And I was like, but you told me that she has to have a PCR. And they were like, no, no, before that, if she didn't have symptoms, she should have been in school. I said, but the others had symptoms and olivia had a positive uh, lateral flow test. So obviously we, she was isolating. It turns out that... Even though Olivia or Dave had COVID, even if it came back positive, Isla can be in school. As long as she doesn't have symptoms, she can be in school. Now, remembering that 47% of um, children are asymptomatic when they have COVID. So he was like, that's not safe. How is that okay? No, no, that's the rules. So she, she should have been in school. And we're like, I don't think so. So we said, well, how many people that have their families, their immediate family that they live with got COVID and they're in school? And they're like, well, we can't disclose that information. Also, can I say one thing? And what do you want to say? Wait, COVID has, like... They can't see you. Oh. People at my school have had COVID before in like all of the years. Yeah, so th there is COVID in school. Um, does that, oh, we can't disclose that information. So we explained that Dave is very, very seriously ill and um, he has, he doesn't have an immune system. Um, he is having some treatment that suppresses his immune system. Um, and he's also got some other stuff going on. Um, and his doctor has categorically said he cannot get COVID. Um, he will probably not come out the other side. You know, he's he cannot get COVID. So we said, well, we don't feel safe with Isla being there. If, if you're saying that people with COVID, even if they live in the household, can... If you're saying that children can be there even if people in their household have COVID, you're just adding to the spread of COVID. We don't feel safe with that. So we tried to get... Um, and also, they've also been trying to stop COVID. Yeah, they're trying to stop COVID, not spread it. So we said, um, is it possible she can do it online? Can, could she not do her classes online? So I was... um, to be clear, online classes are available for children that are isolating. 
um, and they can log into their portal and they can do their class online. And that's how I have so, Shobi on my computer so I could just log on, my teacher could tell me what to do. Yeah. So we was like, look, because of our circumstances and of how poorly David Dave is and that we have, obviously we have a baby and things like that, can she do online classes just for now until COVID settles down? They were completely unwilling to even discuss that option with us. And it was like, so we're completely forced to remove Isla from school. Um, we, I don't see that there's another option. That there, there's no other choice. We can't send her there and risk everybody, like risk COVID. It risks Dave's life. It risks everybody's lives. We, we can't do that. And so we were forced to deregister her from school um, they've sent the email so please could you remove her from the register and they called uh, as a courtesy call and said yeah yeah we'll do that um, and we'll let the local authority know it was like right okay so now we're back to home educating again those of you who know Lily is home educated anyway um, and the method we use for Lily is unschooling so that entails it's, it's a big complicated thing but the method we use is unschooling which means that she pursues her own interests in her own way and we facilitate that we will give her the resources she needs but if she wants to sit and do I don't know music all day then that is what she will do. It will she will she will pursue things based on her own interests, and Isla will have to do the same. Um, it's really really annoying because we wanted to keep Isla at least in primary. Um, she was enjoying it. She she loves school. She was really really enjoying it, and except for the times where the lessons are insanely boring. Um, you know, she, she absolutely loves school and we, we wanted to enable her to stay there but they're just not allowing that to to happen it's just not possible um and it, it just it puts more pressure on us as well it means that we've always home like whenever we we have homeschooled before but we've always done it through choice it's always been we've done it because we feel it's the right thing to do and this time we don't have a, we don't have a choice there's there's no option there for us it's send her to school and risk people's lives or keep her home and it's just really 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 annoying um I am going to be launching a, a pen pal thing for her, so if anybody's interested in that, just um, comment down below, or actually um, send a message on Instagram. It's Rachel George eighty three eighty three on Instagram or on TikTok, Rachel George fifty. Um, so we will be launching a pen pal a thing. One. Put in. I've got a new one. No. Instagram yeah. no no it's not that that's um so we will be looking for pen pals for her um, and we're going to be doing like a Christmas card swap where um, she'll be making the cards and swapping them so again if you're interested in that send me a message on Instagram um to be honest I'll be publicizing that more on TikTok because there's more people there um because mm. I've got 471 on here whereas uh, sorry 472 on here whereas over on tiktok there's 4800 so you know i'll be advertising it more on there um but if you are interested in that let us know um i just my I, I just i'm just so annoyed by it 
I have absolutely no objection to Isla being at home. You know, I, I know that we're perfectly capable of doing it. We've done it before. And it's not about that, though. It's about effectively being pushed out of the educational system. And also, I wanted to graduate um, school I went to because I got a free hoodie. It's not free, you pay for it. I pay for it. Oh. Just because you think stuff's free, it's not. I pay for it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, so our content will end up changing slightly because obviously we're going to have to do like just some days out, some uh, visits and things like that. Um, we have wanted to all week this week, but it has been absolutely missing down. I was up week. at like five because no we screamed mm -hmm. and I couldn't get back to sleep. But like we were having like a whole shower of rain up there. Mm -hmm. I could, I could hear it. I think we were also getting hail. So yeah. Like it went on for like an hour. That's what's happening with us. Um I wanted to just sit down and just I didn't want to kind of just add it in a vlog and just be like, oh yeah, this has happened. I wanted to explain what had happened and why. Um so when you see her around a lot more that's that's kind of why. Um yeah, and that is that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, don't bye guys. Don't forget to share.